Welcome to the couch, everybody. We're here for another edition. Uh, today we're playing NBA Street. Let me introduce you to everybody. I'm Mike Boo. That's DB, Johnny Crocodile. And we got the uh, the doctor, Philly Cags, here. Uh, so today... It's like Sean Donnell. I get two days. Get done. A classic. <laughs> we got a classic on the couch. NBA Street. All right? This is I remember playing in college. In the dorm room, this was the game. We're bringing it back today. You guys oh, yeah. excited? I'm very excited. I'm very it. excited. Looking forward to it. All right, let's get it started. What teams are we picking here? We did go through a little. We got some street. We ball. did a dress rehearsal. Ball, yeah. yeah. But, wow, the Charlotte Hornets. Wow. We got some. I mean, you the really only thing forget I, how long ago. I know. Game Look at the now. Rockets yeah. logo. I'm going to put a critique of the game. I wish they had the rosters right there that you can see. Before you pick the team. I kind of like the surprise a little okay. bit, yeah. We're going to get to that later at the end. We always critique the game here <laughs> on the couch. So just, just move forward. I'm going Knicks, baby. Take I'm that going to I got to go Knicks. Right. I actually had a good team back in the day. I got to pick a good team. This All is right. probably the last time the Knicks had I'm a good going, team. I'm going Vancouver Grizzlies. They didn't I don't know who they have. Oh, you going with the Grizzlies? Yeah. Oh, I'm going with we the Grizzlies. We got to play in Miami Beach, right? Yeah, well, Miami Beach. We have to play in Phoenix. Yeah, we'll play in Miami Beach. Why yeah. do you have to play in Miami Beach? Because the background is so far. Yeah, you got the guy in the 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 guy in the, uh, the beach shirt, like it's Vice City. All right, like let's Grand get Death this thing going. Tell us who the lucky players are today, I got Spree- baby. Oh, you got Sharif yeah. Abdul Rahim. I'm going with wow. Sharif Abdul Rahim. He's my best player. You got Mike Bibby, too, I think. Um, Mike Michael Bibby's Dickinson, next. Mike, Mike Bibby, Bibby, who will be used. Mike Bibby, who, know, by the way, um, you guys have seen. Stroll Swift. This is not a good team. Have you guys seen Mike Bibby in the big three? He is completely jacked out of his mind. I'm happy to hear that. Taking care of I got Mark Jackson. I don't think there's any steroid testing in the picture. Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice, Mark Jackson. These were none of the people that I thought they were by. (laughs) Oh, Oh, Alan Houston Houston, I did mention. Okay, I'm going Houston. I'm going to spring. Oh, all right, so two of them I did mention were there. I got to go Mark Jackson, right? Yeah, definitely. I got to go Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson was born to play on the the street. You talk about a guy. Oh, Dunks and Bucks. Probably the best announcer. I got to go with Shramiel Swift. Probably oh, the best yeah. announcer right now. The Stro Show? I think the Stro oh, Show was no, in a Mark dunk Jackson. contest, didn't he? He, no, was. he was. Did he win? I don't know. I don't remember. I hope he did. He was a very early pick, I remember. He was. I think he was like out of LSU. So tell me what you guys were doing down there. I don't really Just, remember. We don't know we either, though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully really something comes you. up like an uh, unlimited turbo or something yeah. like that. Look at this. Oh, that would be fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. I didn't know that was an announcer. Because you got the announcer telling you when Listen, you don't have turbo. Let me just talk to anybody who wants to chime in as you're watching. The question we posted today is, if you were creating a team of three players today, who would you want to see okay. playing yeah, at Rucker Park games, on you know, the street? On the blacktop, who would be the best three NBA ballers that you'd want to watch, right? There's a lot of guys, a lot of flashy guys. Who would you want to see on a team together? So you guys can think about that, too. We'll get into it later. Strumbox Swift, one of the pick. So who we got here? Bibby? At Bibbs. Oh. Something nobody ever oh. called him. Huh? <laughs> Bibbs, Bibbs never got I, the nickname. I think never, they called him Bibbs. You never got the that? nickname Bibbs? So you guys are pretty. You guys know what you're doing here. There's a little bit. Oh, what, was that Mark Jackson? Jackson? To you, what's more important? Making sure you score or doing all the tricks? Oh, um, the tricks. The tricks yeah, are Phillips most, 100%. 100%. 100% the tricks. We also decided that well, we understand now that there's no goaltending at all. Oh, no. not a chance. Yeah. I don't think there's any fouls. Not that there's like a push button like NBA Jam. You miss the alley-oop, takes the th- yeah. hits the three. Oh. Big for no. Bibby. Bibby's going to carry How about the about Allen Houston, run a three. Oh, okay. oh Sharif with the uh, rebound. What are you, so you Let's go for the easy dunk. You have Bibby, Straw Miles, Swift. That was, uh, uh, that was a Abdul nice Reed. little uh, that's trend. Not, that, 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 why would not watch all your replays? Uh, yeah, that's disrespectful. You really shouldn't let him do that. No, I, I can't. He has to press X. All right, my bad, my bad. No, he asked me a question. Sorry. So, guys, as always, on the couch, as we're playing, we're going to talk about some news. So we're going to talk basketball news, of course, today, since we're on a couch playing NBA My Street. So first thing is, is I believe it was today, somebody who may be not be the most exciting or flashiest player, it's funny that we're playing this, uh-huh. Manu Ginobili retired today. He had some, I don't know. He, nah, he well, come on, what, he, he had a lot of Euro steps. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. That was his move. I know. So what is, the, right, right. What is his legacy in, in the NBA, NBA history? Uh, great team player. Okay. On one of the best franchises of our era. 
I don't know. You could, could, he was on a dynasty. Well, how many titles did he win? I'm, I'm saying the Spurs are a dynasty, but they I believe he won four. three. Oh, I thought four, yeah. It's either sense. three or four. I believe it's four. So he's a winner. He's definitely a winner. Would you say... Uh, is he, he's not even a European... Oh. Yeah, he's from Argentina. But he's Argentina. South America. He's not European? <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to say, is he the best, one of the better European players of all time? He might be the best South American player of all time. Yeah, he's from Argentina, correct? Yeah. Right. If you don't like Anderson Varejo. That's a very Marijal. good one. That's a very good one. Varejo? Or just... I believe Nene also from Brazil. Nene has, 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 has had a nice career. Valerio Nene. Well, yeah. Manu Ginobili was the much other better. Oh, uh, what is and deal? a late round pick too. A, a, a late, yeah. I think in the second round. So probably he's gonna go down as one of the best draft picks. Well, listen, of all time, look at I would his say. stats, right? He best value like draft pick. Thirteen points, three, three, three rebounds, three yeah. assists. So yeah. we're not talking about any guy we're ever gonna be talking about in the Hall of Fame category uh, and stuff like that. Agreed. All right, but just a solid. My question is: In twenty-five years, are people gonna really ever talk about managing Manu Ginobili? <laughs> Only if they're talking about Tim Duncan. If they're talking, no, if they're about, talking about the Spurs. If they're talking yeah. about the Spurs in the, in the yeah. 2000s. That's what I mean, yeah. They're not going to be talking about Manu But Ginobili. yeah, that's Tim Duncan's franchise. When if, they talk about, if they talk about Popovich and Duncan, then Ginobili might come up. Well, they'll talk about the, they'll talk about the Duncan, Parker, Ginobili combo. Yeah. That's what it would be. Exactly. All right, so who's got the lead right now? What do we got going on? Donnie's winning 12 11 right now. You guys are close in points. You guys are looking for that elusive game breaker, right? Exactly. That's what it's all about. That's, when, that's like that NBA jam. You're on fire. Special dunk. I yeah. three guys blocked that chat. Gotta wait for the third ball. Oh, he just steals the alley oop. That's why you got Strong Miles Swift in the game. <laughs> Guys, I need to see more dunks here. Oh, what's Way trying? too many layups going on. Here we go. Boom. Wake up call. Maybe he can't get that, that wake up call for that. <laughs> He's completely missed it. <laughs> Would you say there's way too many what in this game right now? Layups? There was a lot of layups for a little bit, but now you guys are going. You know what? I don't understand why they haven't made another. Well, they made an NBA Street 2, right? Yeah, yeah. They made an NFL Street. But I don't understand oh, why. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It might be something out of not use. I'm sorry. Like licensing rights or something? Like yeah. maybe they didn't. You know, once wow. NBA Live and. Oh. I didn't know I had the game breaker. The layup on the oh, game breaker. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I lose a point though, he takes yeah, the lead. But yeah, but still, I got the game breaker. Oh, yeah, look, celebrating that's way move. too much. That's terrible. Player. That was horrendous. Two time. Again, I said uh, enough with the layups, please. <laughs> that's what my team does, that's what we do well. We're the Vancouver Grizzlies. All right, next thing I'm going to bring up, it actually goes perfectly with this game also. There you go, put it home. The big three, which is a league. That's kind of like supposed to be like this, right? Built on this, right? No. <laughs> well, the, the only thing is, instead, it just has athletes that are past their prime, yeah. right? But you have the same ideas of three players to a team, uh, three pool. They kind of they're kind of going for that, but with like the four. Isn't it a four point shot? Uh, I think he's he froze or something. Isn't it a four point? They have a the four point, point shot. And I still didn't use it. It's very gimmicky. <laughs> What do you guys oh. What do you guys think about the league? The big three. The I big think the three. big three. It's um, a trash. I'm surprised they had a season. I'm surprised they had a season two. But dude, you look at the you look at the stands. They're they're, they're selling out. Are they really? They're doing. Pretty I didn't well. think they were. Remember, they're only showing you half the court. Because <laughs> isn't it only till half court? It is half court. Dad, did you lose your game break? I did. What happened? I don't think I used it fast enough or something. Why didn't you use it? I don't know. It didn't work for some reason. Clyde Drexler actually came out and said that Manu Ginobili is perfect for the big three. Why is everybody, everyone's like, Kobe's going in the yeah, big three? Yeah, any, anybody's to, perfect for the big three. First of all, what are they, Kobe came out and said that there's 0% chance that he would go <laughs> play in the big I'm, three. I'm very happy he said that. And that would be such a disgrace. Why would he ever want to do that? The legacy. First of all, you know the guy on, on the his sports drink. You heard about this, right? What? No. So he invested in a sports drink company that oh, got did. yeah, that got bought out, and he just made another couple hundred mil. Yeah, he made. Oh, uh, it was like a wow, six or seven. I don't know. I don't want to get the numbers wrong, but uh, uh, it was a significant. That investment wasn't even a oh, oh. Baby. 
So I don't think he's coming out to play big three basketball anytime soon. Push it up, come on. All right, we got, we're down to the left. Oh, he finished it. Oh, Donnie got Butter. it. All right, game one in the books, the Grizzle. That was a close game. That I know, Stormile Swift getting the last shot. The Grizzle take it down. He was waiting at the other side of the court, though. He didn't go down to the <laughs> All right, let me see. Seven, at least Donnie was dunking. He had seven. Oh, no, that was you. Yeah. I got blocked on a three-pointer to try to tie the game. Mike Bibby with a beautiful game. Oh, Bibby you saw it up. 3 2 Now you saw five dunks. Houston was uh, solid. God, no. All right, let's get some new teams going. So, I'm yeah. sorry. But the what did how, how much money did he make that you were saying? Kobe? He made, like, over $100 million on this, on this deal. Yeah, unbelievable. So, I don't understand what... Would be the significance the of him coming back? They look obscure. Okay. I'm gonna be disappointed. Be surprised. How about the Nuggets? Who on the Nuggets? I don't know. There's nothing that's good about the Blazers. Everything the is mediocre. They should the show you the players. I, I agree with you. Okay, so you. That makes sense. I will. I'm just gonna take a quick look at what we have available. Phoenix and Vancouver. <laughs> Everywhere else is online. Everywhere else is locked. There's no cage in New York City. Yeah, I think it's locked, though. You guys should have been in here a couple hours ago unlocking all the... <laughs> all right, then we got to go to uh, Phoenix, then. All right, let's go to Phoenix. I got the franchise. I was going to say, Rasheed, Rasheed Wallace. Rasheed Wallace. Wallace. Oh. I got the franchise. Katino Mulvey. If it later oh, on. Wow. Damon Sotomayor. Damon Sotomayor is number two. Shannon and Steve oh, I got Hakeem the Dream. All right, well, it has got to be Scotty Pippen. <laughs> Coutinho Mobley is a good, nice, solid player. And I got Coutinho H- Mobley, by the way, plays in the big three. Yes. Oh, that's... Why are we always is. bringing up the big three? I feel like this is not the first time. And cool, is Clyde Drexler a coach? Clyde Drexler... Yeah, any legend is like a, is like a coach or a captain or something. Like George they don't play. Yeah, yeah. George Gervin, Dr. Coaches, J. Yeah. Dr. J is a coach. So they were Dr. paid a couple. Of, come on. So they were paid a couple of grand to go down there. You know, the guys look eh, older. The pension wasn't the same. We need the money, you know. How many minutes have you watched of the Big Three in the two seasons that they put out? I've watched uh, maybe like one minute. It was happened to be <laughs> on while I was a just highlight or something. Man. Yeah, it's not. It's not very watched because here's one the thing. One minute by accident. People aren't going to watch people that are past their prime. I'm sorry. It's just the way it goes. And it's some people that weren't good when they were in their prime. You might watch for nostalgia for a few minutes, and then you just get bored. So I don't yeah. think there's really much. I like the hoops in this Phoenix one. Yeah, it is solid. I don't like that the court looks like it's, you know. There's blood boys. stains on it. <laughs> oh, who is that? Is that nice Katina Mobley? That. Come on. David. So who do you, are we gonna are, are we gonna talk about who would we want in the we can definitely three on three? Yeah. I think we should save that for a little bit later. Okay. I got a little another I got a little nugget. Fair enough. Oh, Hakeem the Dream. That's impossible. Actually, he might be that athletic. He was a great big man. He was. He was one of the. There you go. That's what I got. I got to do the. That's what he was about. Quadruple double once. Right? That's right. That's unbelievable. Never happen again. I don't do you think, think so. <laughs> Will there like ever this. be a quadruple double again? Done. I would say no. No. That's one of the most amazing uh, things. May, maybe a guy like. Um, oh, Duncan no. almost had a quadruple double, and the, why'd they show the replay? What oh, he's telling to. Sh- oh, he knocked it out of bounds? This out of bounds? <laughs> I haven't seen that once yet. Box out. Rashi Wallace. Is that Chappelle show? <laughs> you know what's funny, actually? I was watching... Um, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I know, I laid it in. I'm trying to dunk you. I was watching, like, an NBA on NBC game from, like, 2000, right? And it might have been... Before. Oh, it was, like, 2000. Oh, but he came in really late on Ray, uh, Ray Allen was on the... Uh, <laughs> On the box. Yeah, oh, was, was with Glenn Anderson and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who else was on that team? It was, and Sam Cassell? Yes, yeah, Glenn yeah. Robinson. Well, by the way... Big Glenn Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. And, and Sam Cassell, I'm saying. Yeah, by the way, they were quoting that. They actually put up a graphic. Big three. They yeah. said it was the big three. So that's, that's not a new idea. They were calling that the big three. Those, that big three could barely make the playoffs. You don't like <laughs> oh, Big Bill no, Robinson? They, yeah, no, they, they took... Uh, they I think they faced the Iverson-led Sixers. Yeah, I was watching the games against the Hornets, actually. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And it's funny because I would say 70% of the players on uh, on the floor were wearing oh, headbands. Really? Yeah. That's, I love that. And that's like, a, that's look at this, look at the screen right now. Yeah. How many, we got... We got franchise and mobile. Guys. A key large one, I guess, wasn't feel of a headband. Yeah. That wasn't of his time. But he was a little bit before this. I, I forgot that he was even in a league, so... Great layup. Just, just missed that layup, huh? 
But it's just funny how you see style changes. Everybody had the short hair, too. Now people are starting to go with the long hair again. Yeah. That, that's not that true, actually. It, it is what a good thing. Oh, that much long hair? I think you're seeing more. I'm telling you, man, this game, everybody had short hair and a headband. Every superstar in the league is short hair. What are you talking about? Like a buzz cut or something. I don't know. I feel like you see some different Donnie's stuff. Donnie's telling today. you. Don, Donnie's calling you out no, on I'm this. I'm telling one. you, shut up. I'm, I'm going to get. I'm going to tell you. Donnie next Crocodile week. says that he like, calls, you, calls you out on this. You're wrong, dude. How, how many long haired players are you thinking of? What are you thinking about when I took long hair? Like long yeah, I don't know. Wait, that's what I'm thinking when you think long hair. What's long hair for You're you? seeing different hairstyles again. People are getting a little that more... That was an unbelievable move. Back then, it was everybody had the same exact fade and a... And a, a what do you call it? Ooh, I think I had that block, but whatever. Um, who was the announcer? Was it Bill Walton and uh, Steve Snapper Jones? Steve Snapper Jones was horrible. <laughs> Bill Walton was horrible, too. That was I love, you terrible. don't like Bill Walton? Bill Walton personality. Bill Walton personality. Dude, the thing I remember about Bill Walton is one time he said he'd rather go into the half down by one than up by one. And he like went on for like 10 minutes about Nobody can buy it. Motivates, yeah, motivates you more because, something. Yeah, it motivates you more in the locker room. I was like, this guy's on drugs. Rasheed Wallace just went in for a real NBA move. That was a joke. And just got an offensive rebound and tried to lay it up. And nothing... Nothing fancy. I think fun about it. I have to say, I think Mike Breen, Van Gundy, and Mark Jackson might be Bizarre. the best. I think they're starting. I to think get, might be they might be the best announcing crew in all sports. I think they're starting to get a little bit played out, man. I'm gonna I don't think, I Van think, Gundy, as I much as I Gundy's like awesome. him, as much as I like him, he's starting to play into like he has wow. to say a couple stu- like like try to be funny a couple times a game. I think he's trying a little. He's too a nerd. Hard, yeah. I love when he. I love when he. Well, now he does it all the time, but oh when they God, show like a flagrant foul. And he compares it to what like a foul would be in the nineties. He's like, that might not have been a. Oh, yeah, I like that he gets on the rest. game breaker. Yes, he, he pretty got far fun. out. I don't know. The NBA fined him one time. I'm not surprised. They fined everybody. The NBA fined him one time for that. Does wow, it make sense that, to that made three during game breaker. Yeah. That's stupid though. I don't like that. What? <laughs> you should you should get like triple points if you do like a second. Oh, cool. you I gotta put caught, that in. Apparently, I just caught that ball. I didn't block it. We got a blowout here. Oh, no, because of the game break. Nice play, stop. Damn, it's not a lot. It's a fundamental lane. It looks, it looks like we might be going to a game three. Yeah, nice block. Yeah, so. I'm saying, I thought I hit another shot. I thought I missed another shot after you said that. He's destroying people, baby. It's not a Oh. Hakeem the Dream couldn't block. Who else is on this Hakeem team? Steve yes. Francis and Katino Mobley? Yeah. That's a dirty That's team. a great oh, a bad team, right? That's good. Steve yeah. Franchise. This is not a good oh. team. Oh! Oh! Rasheed Wallace that. and who's this? Scotty Pippen and Scotty Pippen Pippen and David. Scotty's a little pissed. No. Prime, man. no, no, the team is like, like I'm saying, in the game, they're not playing that well. Like, they, they lose, like, they lose a lot of balls. The Blazers, the, around the, time. Gets blocked the Blazers around this time were great, though. Mm-hmm. I got a question. When Jordan came back, was he in games? No. I don't think so. Because I don't remember him being in games with the Bulls. He wasn't. He was number 23, like, on the Bulls. They never Just they never player, used his right? name. But wow, I was, that was, I was wondering play. when he came back with the Wizards if they if you I remember don't. a video game with him in it. I, well, I don't. Well, what year was this? Was he, well, could he be in this one if we go to Wizards? I'm not sure. What, is, what game? What year was this? Oh one. I'm like that. Wow, just getting this. Shit. Donnie's Boy. completely not paying attention, huh? Always. No, I don't know the date of the game. I'm sorry. Paul said yeah. Oh one. So oh. I believe. I think. I think Jordan was Ever with the Wizards was. in oh one. He was. Yeah. Rashid Wallace. Rashid Wallace. Right, so, all of a sudden, 17, 16. <laughs> Somebody well, got, got two and you got one game. taken away. I got oh, two taken away. Yeah. Momentum, huh? If we would have gotten that back, the people are going nuts in Phoenix. That's, that's, that's a big shot. I was yeah. cash. People are going nuts in Van Portland. They show like a, you know when they show the video of the, the home crowds cheering? Oh, that's filthy. <laughs> I thought he was gonna hit that so bad. I, had, I thought I had momentum then. Nah, Tino Mobley ice in his veins. Put in the books. Tino Mobley ice in his veins. Oh damn! Hit that. Him on. hit that! Hit that! Really desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Black. Come on! <laughs> you gotta block that. Block us with a win, so you just gotta win, right? Yeah, go for rubber. Yeah. We gotta, go for we gotta do the rubber.
Where That's are you it. guys playing? Arizona? Phoenix? Phoenix? Route 66, yeah. All right, so can we you guys go into the Wizards? So yeah, do you want to see this? Oh, of course. Tino Mobley. Six dunks. Look at that. We'll go into the Wizards. To answer the question, did Michael Jordan, Jordan is give Jordan up in the game? I don't his think, rights. Yeah. I doubt he would, but why? It was someplace Barkley. Well, but yeah, it's successful. That doesn't make any sense, yeah. though. We'll just pick anyone right now. Uh, all right. I will just take... pick anyone. I'm not gonna pick the Wizards. I'm gonna go. Oh, back. I thought you were gonna use them. Uh, I don't know who's Golden on the State team. Warren. I'd like to see who's on the team first. I'm gonna go to this regular court team, the one we haven't your used. Players, Jahidi, Jahidi wow. White, Richard Antoine Hamilton, Jameson, Larry Courtney Davis, Alexander, Mark Jackson, Christian Leitner, and Mitch Richmond. Oh, Mookie not, Blaylock. I'm not being this team. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, bro. Danny Fortson. I don't even know who that is. You don't remember Danny, but he was on the Warriors. For I a do while. remember. That's who knows what he had. He was a good like rebound guy. All right, I'm gonna use the. Do I want the Bulls? I got them. I'm gonna continue my stretch of obscure teams and go with the Timberwolves. That's Timberwolves. not really an obscure team. Yeah, they got team. Kevin Garnett. That's like, they might you have probably got Garnett. No, more uh-huh. on the net. So you probably got uh-huh. Garnett and what? Terrell Brandon? We'll, we'll see. It's not that bad, Dave. Yeah, that's big. really good. Got the Heat here. I got the Lakers. The Magic. Can I be the Lakers? I forget the that. Show? I forget that. They got LeBron point, James. Huh? Did you guys hear about that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you heard. Ooh, the Utah Jazz. I'm kind of curious as to who they have. I don't want to be Stockton and Malone in this game. It wouldn't be bad if it was available. I would love to see Stockton trying to throw some jams down. I, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see. All right, I'll see if they who they got. Tell us who the lucky player Call Malone. Name, baby. All right, I got Call Malone and Stockton. Here we go. Call Kevin Malone. Garnett. You were right about Terrell Brandon. Stockton, by the way. Go back to Stockton. His head is like there's something wrong. It's very disfigured. Chauncey Billups. Deshaun Stevenson. Wow, he was around. Oh, I'm going with Wally World, definitely. Wally World. Danielle Marshall. I'm going to go over Terrell Brandon and, and Byron Russell. Chauncey Billups. All right. Oh, they had Billups, too? That's a All good right. team. It is a better team than I thought, by so the way. So you didn't take Terrell Brandon, you took Billups instead. Yeah, and Wally Serbiak, and of course, Byron Garnett. Russell, a fame, you know, of. Uh, Byron Russell. <laughs> getting crushed by. Uh, I had a Byron Russell crossed over at my point. Short, you had a Byron Russell. Yes. <laughs> What are you doing with that? I have no idea. The most obscure jersey I've ever seen someone have. <laughs> you all know Jason. One time I went to play football. Look, he won something. He had a Steve Bono jersey on. Of the... <laughs> what? The Kansas City Chiefs. There's nothing There's nothing better than a good obscure jersey. I remember seeing a guy with an authentic Ruben Drones Giants jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this guy is either related to Ruben Drones... <laughs> Boy, I don't. Oh, he's sick in the head. I've like, seen a Jim Finn. I think I crossed the street. I <laughs> saw. I was I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm embarrassed now. I made when I was younger. I made a John Hall jersey from the Nets. The kicker. The kick off the Jets. Yeah. Yeah. I have a. I saw a Jim Finn jersey when I was at a game. Huck Finn. Huck Finn. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Stocked an all-time leader in steals. Right. That's cool. That's a good point. Come on, Wally oh. World. All-time leading steals and assists. Wally World. Guys, have you heard that Drake wants to own the Raptors one day? I mean, he's an ambassador or something to the team. I'm thoughts? not surprised. What are your thoughts on that? I think Donnie had a lot of thoughts give on that. Give me your thoughts on that. Uh, yeah, I think that that's absolutely possible. I mean, he's got more than enough money to do it now. So, Does like, it? I think he will. How much oh, is that Raptors? Stop trying to throw it down. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. No, but Brand he wouldn't, what do you mean by he wouldn't be the only yeah. owner. He'd be the majority. That's how it like works. Like, Jay-Z now, owned the Brooklyn Nets, but he owned 1%. Yeah, percent. Right. Yeah, I think that, that was a lot. And he sold it real yeah. quick, yeah. Did, did so, he make money on that deal? No, you know? they all lost money. Yeah? Yeah? The really? Russian guy lost a ton of money. Did oh, really? Yeah, wow. Mikhail Prokhorov, yeah. I didn't realize that. So, who owns it now? Uh, some, uh, like a, not a corporation, but like a syndicate of people. Okay. It's not just one person. Yeah, so I think it's very possible that Drake will own the Raptors. He just won't own a, yeah, own, he'll own a own percentage of it. Yeah, he'll own a Because I know like Steph Isn't Curry, a co- I'm sorry, no, 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 no. Steph Curry a couple of years ago was inquiring about, um, about buying a piece of the Panthers. Because they're from Carolina, oh, yeah, and he loves right. the Panthers, so like that, he, like he's interested in that. But that the guy that owns um, F- Fanatics, you know, like the uh, the merch company Ooh. for NFL, mm-hmm. like that guy just bought them. I mean, it's got to be a good thing. These guys, yeah. yeah I don't know the younger Jeter, people. Own them. Doesn't Gita technically own a part of the mall? Of course he does. Yeah. yeah. So. Whoa, what, what By the, the way, he's done a good job with that Marlins team this year. They're not really not as bad as everybody thought they were going to be. And know. he's just completely rebuilding. I mean, he gave up everybody of note, so. Actually, no, they still have they still have 
the catcher, who's one of the best in the catcher. Real Mudo, yeah. yeah. And Boar, they didn't get. But rid I just of heard. Them. I think they average like under ten thousand fans a game. Yeah, well, they need to. That's hard. I mean, listen. Yeah, both of those fan. Florida franchises are really in desperate situation. The Rays, the Rays, and the, and the Marlins. I mean, something's got to be done. Well, the Rays need to. Apparently, what the Rays need to do is go into. Um, yeah, they got to move. Tampa proper. No, you think you move out of there, which they could also do. But yeah, like, apparently, Pete. where they are is terrible. Also. St. Pete, right? Yeah. Oh, well, like, why is he so pissed? Serbia is, out of bounds, is really pissed. Serbiak's throwing a temper tantrum out there. You run out of time, sir! Of dare I say, Bill Lambia like the boys. <laughs> I really miss that. By the way, if you guys tuned in, we played uh, Bill Lambia Combat Basketball. If you basketball. haven't tuned in, you need to look on our catalog and tune in to Bill Lambia Combat Basketball. It was probably basketball. the most fun I had playing a game in a long time. It was, the game was complete trash. I'm no, pretty the worst. I'm very, very sure that Mike and I played backwards for one whole half of the oh game. Oh! Garnett just blocks every game. Yeah, Garnett KG, does. baby. That was amazing. All right, let me get into the question now that we, we started oh, off. Oh, wow, this right? is a defensive game. Oh, yeah. You guys are starting to win. Oh, oh you defense. get miss an L.U. Oh, he can and he will. Come <laughs> along. This is awful. Stop going, stop going with Wally Zerbiak to the... To <laughs> that the, was awful. All right, so to the question, if you could build a team of three guys you'd want to watch wow. on the blacktop, just to watch, not to play. All right, I'd start with um, probably with my favorite player in the league right now, Steph Curry, or he's one of them anyway. He's got great um, handle. And yeah. Can dunk it. <laughs> Where did he come from? You know what? I'm glad that they're not letting him dunk in this game because what I saw him do with Ewing in, the, in a couple games ago was ridiculous. Wow. All right, so I start with Steph Curry. I'm going to let it go to you, uh, Phil. Oh, oh, we're drafting. We're drafting a sure, team. Sure, we'll do a little yeah. draft. Okay. Who you got? All right. How do we not take LeBron James? I'm sorry. No, he wants to on the black tab. What no, I'm looking at is how this game works. And LeBron James want to be a guy. If you're standing I'm pretty there, sure you LeBron, are, you're one of those fans over there, right? I'm pretty sure LeBron James threw it off the backboard to himself. I don't know who those guys. These drug addicts. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that guy certainly. These guys is. look like they're tripping on something, right? If you're one of those guys, who do you want to watch current NBA players? So you're going to take oh my LeBron. God. You can't you go take, wrong. There. You have to take LeBron. James. I'm not. But then you're talking about drafting anything in the no, NBA. No, 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 but what you're telling me is exciting. He's not. A, he's not exciting. He's not a hard top. Of course he is exciting. You're being ridiculous now. Yeah. You're being ridiculous. He plays very smart basketball. And like I just said, he yes, threw it off the backboard to himself in the NBA Finals. Everybody does that. I'm gonna go with. The excitement of Kyrie. Wally World. Best Ky handle. Kyrie, that's a great Best picture. handle in the league. That's more kind of the wet route I was going with Kyrie. Right. Right. Best handle in the league. Exciting to watch. Kyrie, that's a great pick, Kyrie. So I'm going to take Kyrie. Go ahead, D. <laughs> all right, so it's back to me. I'm going to go with my actual favorite player in all the NBA. And he's exciting to watch, and he's a monster. And that's Drew. That's uh, Boogie Good. Cousins. <laughs> Good. Boogie Cousins. Boogie Cousins is not translated yeah, to the so, hard yeah, top. So you said you said LeBron isn't good enough for that, but but Boogie Cousins is. Yeah, just because he's a fierce player. All right, so and a, LeBron is a, a terrible player. temper. What? And LeBron isn't a fierce player. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, LeBron's the best player in the league, but that, I thought I didn't think that's what we were doing. I'm sorry. Well, we're like, trying to build... If we're drifting an NBA live team, then LeBron's my first pick anyway. I was trying to go with a different little angle. How was the score? Oh, my God. You better get a game for right <laughs> He's doing some sort God. of Nazi salute. <laughs> oh, God. Shoot that. Uh, go step it. The problem is that uh, I can't get John's any dunks. Billis. I can't get any dunks with John Stockton. Walk in and out. Walk in and out. Oh, boy. KG's going to have to shoot some threes or something. Gotta let it fly soon. I don't know, you guys are winning, never mind. <laughs> oh, walk it out. Oh, you can't miss that. Almost got yourself a game breaker, baby. Oh! Alright, Phil, you're on the clock. I know you're playing oh. an intense game here, but who are you taking next? Oh, I had some. Oh. Um, I'm gonna go Russell Westbrook. That's a solid pick. I like that pick a lot, actually. I can totally see him breaking some ankles out here, no doubt. I'm talking about being fierce. I mean, yep. I'm going to pick a guy that's really a comedy. You guys might boo it, but I'm going to pick Kevin Durant because he's actually played in no, some of those games. That was great. And I have and a guy. Like, it's like a ton of points. I think it was like 60 points in one of these like pickup he games. He does it all. 
I, that's, that's, oh no! You know what? You know what? This Bang. game, when I give the rating, I'm giving a minus one for Bang. the fact that you can just do something wow. like that. I was up by so much that I'm still <laughs> up after the game, yeah. right? That. <laughs> Wally world. So I'm going bro, yeah, like I said, So I got Durant and Kyrie. I feel like my team right now is the best. The best. Oh, you, you gotta, gotta be able to block. They're not gonna get along. <laughs> and oh, I see, I got a guy that I just realized he's not in the league anymore. I was gonna take a guy who also, who also played in the street tops during the NBA lockout. Who's that? Do you remember Brandon Jennings? Brandon Jennings. So Jennings, uh, sir, he's got good hand. He's on the Knicks. Remember Ray for Ray Austin? Ray for Austin is yeah. what I was gonna say. Beast. Oh, what about? Didn't, uh, the professor or who? Oh Rayful? my lord, Ray Wilson, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay, yeah. That's but was. Jennings during the lockout one year. Oh, I tried to alley you. Yeah, Carl oh. Malone is like useless in this game. This guy laying. Um, that wasn't even good looking the, at all. <laughs> the year of the lockout. I remember Brandon Jennings used to like just like tweet out saying like, "Oh, was anyone playing ball?" And then so well, if, you still an hanging on if you rim. answered him, he would. If you answered him, he would go play. Like random people. Yeah, that's sick. Because he wanted to play. Oh, you so, know, who, you know who's Brand actually James, a very. I think be pretty good in a street. You know who's actually a really old school street bowler also, is um. Oh, God, yeah, Jason Terry. Jason Terry. Jason yeah. Terry. Yeah. All right, make your third pick, Jason. Is it Jason Terry? <laughs> no, I couldn't pick. Uh, I forgot. Brand Jenks not in the league anymore, so. It's a late block. This game's got That was this an unbelievable dunk. All right, the best part about this game, you gotta win by two. Oh! oh is that Wally one? That was Wally blocking Malone? <laughs> That's the play of the game. That might be the play of the game. Like LeBron in game seven. I thought I had it because I, I crossed out Garnett and Wally Zerbia coming back. Uh, the Timberwolves are oh, playing so defense, though, I will tell you that much. Oh, it's going for the, I see a lot more intensity out of the Jazz. Wally, Wally, Wally World's Wally. playing all hard. <laughs> Wally World's on the Knicks. You, you watch him uh, in the Knicks, like, uh, what do you call? He was oh, in the post game. Yeah, he's always doing the post game. He's always wearing like a sick zoot suit from like the 1920s, with, like <laughs> stripes. That's fire, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he oh, just destroyed oh, Stockton. That wasn't good at all. Guys, this is pretty exciting. This is the the, the rubber match here coming oh. down to the wire. We're at 23-22. Do they play 25 straight, or is it to continue to win by two? I don't remember. I think you just keep going. Oh, come on. Oh, this is gonna be big. Carl Malone. Carl okay. Malone's coming up huge down this Mail man. Mail's here. Wally World. Oh, oh, Malone. Didn't you learn before Wally can't dunk? And that's the ball game. The Utah Jazz. Good game. Yes, it was. Game, With the win. So wait, we've got to finish we up. we got to finish up here. Donnie, make your third pick here. Right now, you have who on your team? All right, I actually have the Warriors. Right now, I have Curry and Cousins. <laughs> and Cousins. And, uh, That's sad. We that makes take, sense. You're going to take Clay all Thompson? All right, who, no, I will not. Because you took Durant, who I probably would have taken. Uh, let's see. If I'm going to go this big, I'm going to go with Andre Drummond. <laughs> this team <laughs> sucks. <laughs> I wouldn't go watch this team. <laughs> it's a, wait a minute, it's his old power. Yeah, I mean, it's a good like basketball team. I never, that would have been the last time <laughs> I would have gone to Drummond. Andre okay. Drummond is not very All right, exciting. I'm gonna, I think he is. I'm going to get someone that's going to be exciting on the street ball. Go ahead. It's a, I think it's a good one. So I got Westbrook, I got LeBron, right. and I'm taking, so it's between these two guys who play with each other, but I'm going to go with Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin, all right. That's a good Seven street ball. That's a fun player. You're that's right, a fun yeah. player. All right. The other guy I was thinking, I'll let you pick first, and I'll say who I think. I'm going to go with a little bit of flash. He'll cross you. Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford. You could just went CP3. I was thinking CP3. I'd rather have Jamal. He's more exciting to watch. CP3 is incredibly exciting. I think if I was going down to watch okay. a game, I would rather watch Jamal Crawford. Really? The guy's still got crazy handles. So does CP3, though. He has, uh, he's a yeah, great player, but... Yeah. I'm just saying. I think CP3 should be up there. I'm surprised none of us picked him, to be honest. All right. So, guys. That's just me. You guys just finished up. Uh, I like more. You guys just finished yeah, up no, NBA Street on the couch. Just get some ratings. Okay, what? Out of 10, what's your rating, Donnie? NBA Street. Nine. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. That's a fun game. There Nine. Was some t things technically 
<laughs> like that was somewhat off that I, I felt like, like I'm gonna fall off. Yeah, we are gonna fall off. Um, <laughs> but I, I mean, the, the game is just <laughs> flips the, over. the game is just so <laughs> fun <laughs> that it takes away all that. So I'm going with a nine. Yes, I didn't even I'm play the game, and I'm gonna say it's a nine because I remember just I could play this game. Jeff for hours watching that was an exciting game at the it's end. Exactly the last game. It is the a great game, game yeah. to play head to head with one other person. It's yeah. fantastic. What's your score? Nine. I know I'm going nines throughout. Nine, very good. Nine, so the have. only critique I had was the one I said. I wish you could see the team before you pick. It's them. a very small like critique. NBA. Gen- well, I'm not giving it. A, I'm giving it a nine out of ten. Right, so right, obviously, right. Like, obviously, it didn't bother me that much. Mm. Right, I got you. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the couch and watching NBA Street. Feeling a little nostalgic. Tune in next week, where we're going to be playing a brand new game right here on the couch every Monday oh, night. If I might throw in. We're going to be playing a football game, and we're actually going to be doing the part of our the Bridgeside League live draft. Right. The four members of the crew are all in the league. We're going to draft. Well, we won't finish it, but we'll at least start to do a few rounds on the couch a lot. And so you know, Ventures are going to love that. Oh, he already does. <laughs> Spoke to him early today. Oh, yeah, we'll have the closer back on the couch for that one. But anyway, that wraps it up for this week. Thanks for tuning in to the couch, and we'll see you again next Monday. Peace out. Crocodile. Is that the Crocodile logo? Go Bridgeside.